Welcome back to another TechCore Duo video. In this video, we're gonna set up QubitTorrent in our Docker server. This is gonna be using the Linux server IO again. So I had made a previous video making deluge with Linux server's images. So uh, let's get started. Here we are at Linux server IO's hub page. So you can essentially view all of his images just by clicking his name right here and viewing all of these. But we're gonna focus on setting up QubitTorrent. So uh, right here you have all of the information that you need. You can scroll down, you can read through everything he talks about here and how the image is created and, and how to create all of this, all the tags as well and parameters. But we're gonna focus on the Docker commands right here, this, this set of parameters that we're going to use. This just makes it nice and easy for us to install it and set it up within our Docker server. So go ahead and copy that. I've already pasted it into my notepad. Let me drag this notepad over. So the only couple of things that I've changed on here are the time zone. So I have America and New York. I've also changed where uh, the path is for my config file. So if you do not have your uh, server with a qubits or a folder or anything like that, you can go ahead and create it. Just do an MKDIR and create that folder. Also down here under downloads, I've also changed the path as well to make sure it goes to the correct downloads folder. Because in the, uh, the default config here, it just says path to app data, path to downloads, make sure you guys put your path in there, otherwise it won't work. All right, so pop this open again and then everything else you can leave default so all we need to do is copy this go ahead and open up your docker server so this is my server here I'm gonna paste it in it'll drop all the commands in just like this and you can hit enter and there we go it's gonna shoot out the image string here that it created now we just have to start the image perfect so there we go qubit torrent is now started it will also it will restart unless stopped so if the server does restart it will start qubit torrent up again almost forgot to mention that it is possible that it will do a pull of the image so it'll start downloading everything it needs for the image file I already had it downloaded to my Docker server, so it created the image right away without having to pull anything new. So let's go ahead and check to make sure that it is running. To get to it, I'm gonna type in the IP address of my Docker server, and then the port, which is 8080, which he explains in, the, um, in his uh, website here on this hub paragraph. There we go. I believe it is right here, 8080. So we're gonna go ahead and head back here. We're gonna hit enter and here we go. So this is our UI. The default is admin and the password is admin admin. We're gonna hit enter and here we are. So we are in our torrent downloader. Let's go ahead and test it out. So make sure that when you guys go to options here, Click on the options, make sure that it is set to go to your downloads, which it should be by default, since that's the way it was set up. Let's go ahead and click on add a torrent file. Let's go ahead and try this out. Click choose. I'm gonna go to my downloads and I have a Ubuntu 19.10 open and I'm gonna click upload. And there we go. So let's see if this starts. Perfect, and there it goes. And it's downloading. So it's going to be downloading to that folder that uh, you set it to. And that should be it. So it's a pretty simple setup, real easy. Just copy the commands that um, Linux IO does provide for you. Change a couple of the settings in there, just like I had showed you. And then you're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.